my name is Carlos Coker. Uh, basketball, I've been playing since I was uh, a young kid. Played high school. Played, uh, had a chance to play college. It didn't work out, but uh, I'm always playing and an avid player, and so I'm always looking for top quality training. And so I looked at this place, and I got, I got more than I can ask for. Yeah. My name is Ronnie Tyson. Um, my story is, story is kind of similar to Carlos's. I've been playing ever since I was a little kid. I think I started playing ball when I was about four. Um, I played high school, uh, all through high school, varsity. Um, I also had the opportunity to play, play college, but injuries were kind of a setback there. So um, I kind of moved on and just played club at um, Central Michigan. Um, and then after that, I really just kind of looking for opportunities to continue playing basketball. That's why you know I ended up here. Hope with uh, opportunity, hope to you know play overseas. So. And, uh, it's great. We come in and uh, they have a, this is just an awesome facility. We have a trainer ready that stretches us, works us out for about 15, 20 minutes. Real professional, uh, and then we get into a practice about an hour and a half of just real good, solid work, uh, solid. drills. I mean, you name it. And then what we, after that, uh, we have a little break and then we come back for a second practice. We hit the right room, real professional, just all the amenities you can think of uh, with real trainers. This is not, no, uh, something I've never had before. This is the best training I've ever had. And then we go right into another workout, skill position, working on defense, offense, everything you think of from ball handling to shooting, uh, to teamwork, and just a real nice introduction to your basketball. And then we uh, get up and do it all over again. I and mean, sometimes, what, you have games? Or? Yeah, I mean, if we don't have practice, uh, we have a game. Um, usually, um, sometimes games are in the evening. So when the games are in the evening, we'll um, you know, wake up, have a morning practice. Of course, we have breakfast first, get a morning practice, take a break. And then we'll go to the game, um, play the game, and then go home, go to sleep, and do it all over again with practice. Be ready to work. Work every day. Every day. And that messed up a play, I know that much. But, uh, <laughs> but I mean, the coaches are really professional. They're really, um, definitely very knowledgeable about your real uh, European basketball, I should say. Um, anything, any questions you want to ask them, they'll know it. Um, the, the details, which is something they really focus on. Yes. They know every little detail as far as um, knowing where your feet should be placed, um, making sure your the defender doesn't go base middle, I should say. Um, and just, you know, different things that are you know, key to European basketball that they're really good at knowing, so. Definitely, the intensity is high. Uh, that's one thing I like. The coaches are uh, extremely organized and uh, they know exactly what they're doing. Uh, and they're, they coach you at a high level, it's professional. So, I mean, uh, there's, there's no games. Uh, they tell you exactly how it is and how it should be. And it benefits the program tremendously. You see it in everybody. They're motivating, extremely motivating and uh, they're just top-notch. Oh my gosh, wow. I was blown away when I first came in here. I couldn't believe it. I feel like I made it. I don't, you know, this is, this is, this is a dream. This is a basketball dream. I don't think you can get any better than this. I, would, I wish I could wake up to this every day. Yeah, I would say the same thing. I would love to wake up to these type of facilities every day. Um, but I will say that the niceness of these facilities um, are probably the, the top, um, at least with what the coaches and um, staff have been telling us as far as going out to you know, different different countries. So, um, but anyway, this, this is really nice. Than this. Yeah, you can't, I mean, you can't I mean, get no better than this. There's like nine, what, courts in here, plus a big, a, a mini, uh, Times what, two. A, a stadium. Right. You can get a real life, you get a real feel for professional basketball here. And then we're right next to the big stadium where the, uh, they play in the EuroLeagues. Yeah, so we get to watch the games yeah. and it's just, it's just amazing. Man. I'm, I don't want to wake up. Work, get ready to work. Uh, don't come here half-stepping. It's not, uh, don't think it's a uh, cakewalk. Uh, prepare to work. If you don't like to work, this might not be for you. But uh, if you're serious and you want to train and you want to be pushed, uh, and, and test everything you have, this is for you. Yeah, I would definitely just echo exactly what he said. Don't don't come here out of shape because like we said earlier, um, there's two practices, uh, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and um, plus as well weight. as plus weight. So you know, definitely don't come here thinking you're gonna be able to walk during practice. Don't think you're gonna be able to come here um, 
you know, just half step, like he said, and also mentally prepared to, um, you know, learn plays, learn details, and just uh, learn as much as you can about European basketball. Be on time. Every time. Every time. Every time. I would, I would say definitely IQ. Uh, uh, a lot more cerebral. You got to think more. Uh, you definitely have to know your position on the court and everything like that. So the little details that matter. Sometimes in American basketball, a lot, uh, we can get away with some things because of athleticism or one-on-one -on -one play. But this is more team ball. This is more listen to the coach and do exactly what he told you, and, and that's it. And if you do, if you can uh, uh, follow directions well and execute. You'll be fine. Yeah, that's. I mean, if you notice the NBA, you you'll see, say, like LeBron, he'll catch it from the three-point line, and he'll be able to run right to the goal and, and dunk. Here in um, Europe, that's that's not gonna happen because you have a lot of players who actually play defense all the time. There's no there's no you know lack to days of players when it comes to defense. So that's I think the biggest difference with European basketball. They they care about the details. There's help defense. There's rebounding. There's boxing out. And the coaches, they look at everything. They look at offense and defense as opposed to American basketball, where it's, it's more kind of commercial. You know, it's more a show. It's more trying to entertain fans. Out here, they want to entertain the fans, but they also want to win. So it's definitely something you got to watch out for. Oh, I think it's great. I, I think I got swatted twice in my first game by a seven-footer. Yeah, uh, me too. Uh, you know, you got... Uh, they have a lot of levels here. So it was like a fourth team level. The, yeah, that, uh, that fourth division. Guys are 19, 18, uh, mm. giving you the business. So you yeah. got to come prepared, man. Um, the levels, it's, the competition is amazing. And up there. you have different levels of it and we play different ones. So you have to be ready up for every game because everybody's here uh, playing as a unit, playing as one. And so it's hard to beat a team. You can beat an individual, but it's hard to beat a team. Yeah, yeah. So you got to be team oriented when you come out here. Yeah, definitely. Because we'll play like, say, um, some teams will play our fifth division teams, um, some teams, which those teams, if you play hard the entire time, you know, generally, if we play good basketball, we'll, you know, we'll knock them out. But there's also other teams like fourth division teams that are in a little higher level. Uh, I know a few times we play Valencia's um, fourth division EBA team, and that's the team he's talking about where they have the seven footer and that's, that is a tough challenge, especially when we don't have a guy on our team that's over six eight. So it's it's definitely a challenge. But the, the competition here is definitely not um, a YMCA or you know a LA Fitness level. It's definitely professional clubs playing basketball against us, and you got to bring your A game. So. I, 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 I like it all, man. I, I think my favorite moment was. Uh, just day one coming here, just I was amazed. I just stared for two minutes at just the, like this, the facility. Yeah. And then uh, after that, it was just, just training every day. I mean, uh, everything is yeah. my favorite. I can't, I can't pick one. If I had to pick one, um, I had to say it was me getting my jersey with my name on the back of it for the first time. Because like I said, I... I wanted to play, you know, uh, college ball, but my, you know, things kind of messed up. And finally getting a jersey with my name on it and playing in a, a setting, a, a structured setting, really felt good. So I really liked that. And then my second probably um, favorite moment was literally just walking to practice thinking like, dang, I'm in Valencia, Spain. You know, last week I was at work. And this week <laughs> I'm in Valencia, Spain, about to hoop with right. a jersey in the back of my... With my name on the back of my jersey, so that, those would be my favorite. I'd say another one if you get a chance. We've gotten chances to go to uh, some of the, the, the basketball games here, and the atmosphere is just amazing. Nothing like an uh, NBA game or anything like that. No disrespect, but these guys, I mean, the fans are in it from, from the start to finish. Uh, and I mean, it's just amazing atmosphere and it just makes you uh, confident and uh, wish I could do the same thing. Like these guys wake up every morning and just play basketball for the It's a great group, great club. Uh, uh, 